for those of you who've been watching the process, the progress rather, of this patio installation, you will know that we add the one layer of slabs, the patio, we took that up to reveal the second layer of paving. We've got rid of that. Then we noticed that under the sub base, well, there was no sub base. It was probably about an inch and a half thick and we had copious amounts of clay. We have now removed that clay and now we're putting in the MOT type one sub base. But what we're gonna do, the MOT type one sub base is without doubt thick enough. It's compacted enough. We're gonna go over it and over it. And I, I stress this, I can't stress this enough. You need to seriously compact your sub base and keep going over it. But the difference with this patio, we are gonna put a lee mix on top of this MOT type one to ensure that we end up with a perfect rigid paving system. <laughs> As I said in previous videos, it's so important to severely compact your MOT Type 1. But the other thing what we're doing, we're not just going in a parallel format to the property, we're also going in a vertical format to what we're doing. We're ensuring good compaction. But the most important thing, what we have to do when we're putting in our MOT, we must make sure that it's level and it's totally flat. We don't want the MOT type one to be undulated because if it's undulated, it starts to unbind through ground movement and expansive soil can actually cause swelling. Your MOT starts moving and then it can reflect in your paving above. So you've got to make sure that you complete this task. So important. It's essential to get your sub base correct. I spoke about it so many times in this video. The Romans got the sub bases right. Their roads and their paths and their patios and their terrace are still around today. Let's have a look at this sub base. So what we have here, this is a British standard MOT type one sub base. What we don't want to be doing is having too much of the bigger stone and less of the smaller stone, which is the fines. It's the fines that bind the bigger stones together. It's so important that you get a correct blend if it's the case that when your stone arrives and it's all a bit lumpy and big, you need to make sure that you mix it well in. In this case, we are using a lee mix that's going to go on top of here before we lay our paving. Now, a lot of people will say, is it necessary to put a lee mix on top of an MOT? Not in all cases, but what we want to try and do is that when we lay in porcelain paving, in this case, we want to make sure that we refine each level as we come up. And for me personally, working with a lean mix, it's a, it makes a far better bed than an MOT type one, and it creates a better rigid paving system, what I've talked about on previous occasions. Friday we made it and um, it's not all done but we're getting there it's been a tough week to say the least uh, but uh, our clients have made things a lot more easier for me because they're absolutely decent they're I mean absolutely unbelievable the the hospitality is absolutely second to none great conversation and uh, we're talking about everything as we go along so there's no mistakes and we've got a plan for the design or the laying pattern, I should say. Well, this is the laying pattern, and I like it. It works perfectly. It's, it's a little bit different from what we normally do. And uh, obviously, it incorporates the picture frame going round. So these are going to be 1.2 by 600. So you'll be able to watch how this space turns out. <laughs> 